Hey everybody, welcome to Broadway.com's Live at Five, filmed right here in the heart of Times Square. I am Ryan Lee Gilbert. I'm Paul Wontorek. And we are joined here in the studio by the marvelous Caitlin Moynihan. Hello everybody. The marvelous so, Mrs. Moynihan. Oh, the marvelous Ms. Ms. Moynihan. That's uh, my new TV show, yay! <laughs> uh, we have some fantastic guests with us today, a show uh, Paul and I are both very big fans of. Escape to Margarita yeah, yeah. so is heading on a tour. It's so much fun. And we have Chris Clark and Sarah Henriksen with us here Ooh. this afternoon. We're excited. They're playing Tully and Rachel, of course. Very excited to chat with them, get to know them a little. But first, let's talk about today's top five. Congratulations are in order for these new Emmy winners. So the actual Emmy Awards are this coming weekend. Yes, the, the prime time. Billy Big Porter deal. will yeah. win the red carpet oh and gosh. maybe win an Emmy yes. Award. Ooh, but yes. but the Creative Arts Emmy Awards were on Saturday, oh, I guess on the 14th and the 15th. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. uh, It was a two-night thing. Um, and some people that we know and love won some Emmys, so yeah. let's shout them out. Alex Lacamoire, of course, uh, the fantastic Broadway music man. Uh, not Hugh Jackman. Not, not Hugh Jackman. Although tickets went on sale for that this weekend, <laughs> too. That was a very clever well, way of me plug. to bring that up. Good plug. Uh, that was good. That was of really course, good. he did Dear Evan Hansen and Hamilton. He won for a musical direction on Fosse Verdon, which also won a bunch of like styling. We yeah, makeup like, hair, and styling stuff and makeup, like that. Stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, Jason Sherwood, who's a super talented set designer who has not yes. uh, had a Broadway show yet, but um, he did Rent Live. Which was which was crazy. so crazy. Yeah, you know, that so whole, cool. made that whole three, so you it was, saw it I live. saw it. You it saw, was, you saw the set I saw in the person. set in, <laughs> in person, <laughs> and it was so cool. Like, yeah. everything was from the ceiling, is like, it was crazy, it was yeah, wild. So he won an Emmy wild. Award. He's very um, tall, too. And Cherry Jones won for a guest spot on The Handmaid's Tale, which is yes. also great. Rachel Bloom won, and uh, the director so cool. of Springsteen on Broadway. Anyway, congratulations to everyone, and um, can't wait to see what you're wearing, Billy Porter. Yes. And we got a lot of uh, people are coming in for second, third, and fourth shifts at the diner. Wow. That's right. Well, first <laughs> of ready. all, news was made right here yes. on Live at Five. Mark Evans is extending his time as yes. Dr. Pometer in Waitress, Less. of course. Uh, he will now be there uh, through October 27th at the Brooks mm -hmm. Atkinson Theater. But he has a lot of familiar and face, f faces joining him. Christopher Fitzgerald will be back as Ogie. O OBC. Is, uh, OBC. We're so excited about that. Caitlin Houlihan will be back as Dawn. Natasha Yvette Williams will be back as Becky. They begin tonight. You can see them at the Brooks Atkinson tonight in those roles. Last minute news. Last minute news. Uh, they will star, star alongside, of course, Jordan Sparks, winner of American Idol. She is back on Broadway, taking over the role of Jenna. Um, the, the new foursome replaced Todrick Hall, Colleen Ballinger, Charity Angel Dawson, and Allison Luff, respectively, of course. They took their final bows on the 15th. The Waitress family just keeps You know growing. what else Allison Luff was in? Escape to, to Margarita Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we should like pop a pan every time. Yeah, like, Do some bongos. Yeah, we get a, <laughs> lot, <laughs> bring a lime marina out bongo? every time. Yeah, absolutely. Where's the bongos? Uh, so, congrats. We're happy to have all of you back. Excited to see Waitress again. Yes, indeed. And it is high time for High Fidelity. Yes, yeah, so High Fidelity, uh, of course, is a movie and a novel, and it was a musical in 2006, yes, and yeah. it didn't last very long. No, you know, it back, didn't. That, back then, shows didn't last like no, now yeah. it would have run three and a half years right exactly it was really yeah. good um <laughs> the music is fantastic <laughs> it's so good it. yeah uh tom kitt wrote it uh with amanda green and david Lindsay abair wrote the book anyway now it's going to london to the turbine theater uh in london it's the uk debut so it took a while Ooh, to get wow. it over there yeah, but i think they're gonna love it it starts october 21st i also want to shout out um amanda green's yes Fantastic, fantastic mother Phyllis Newman passed uh, yesterday at the age of 86. And she was an amazing woman, an amazing performer. She won her Tony Award for Subways Are For Sleeping, which That's is a great right. uh, 60s musical comedy. But she was in so many shows. Uh, the Apple Tree, On the Town, the, uh, which of course, Adolph Green, her, right. her late husband, yes. Yes. of course, yep. they, they were a very famous showbiz couple. They were always at every Broadway opening. Mm -hmm. uh, she got a Tony nomination for Broadway Bound. She was in Awake and Sing, Mad Woman, Central Park Avenue. Anyway, and then, but also, she um, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and then she started the mm -hmm. Phyllis Newman Women's Health Initiative, which was a huge, Whoa. huge charity that has helped so yeah. many people. She got a special Isabel Stevenson Tony Award in 2009. Anyway, Remarkable um, woman. our yeah. thoughts go out to Amanda and her brother, Adam Green. It's, it's a, a big loss for our community. Mm. And uh, 
And I'm excited to see High Fidelity again, too. Me, too. So I, 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 think I would love to see High Fidelity Yeah, let's in. do it. So that's, Take that's my me. wraparound there. <laughs> yeah. Fun little wraparound. Yes. And we found out who's going to be telling everybody about his Petersburg across the country. Yes, Jake Levy, who uh, made a big debut in Superhero, the Tom Kitt and John Logan musical at Second Stage ah, Theater. Right. Okay. Yes, yeah, he originated the role of Dwayne. He is taking over the role of Dimitri in the Anastasia North American tour, which is just about to kick off its second year of touring. Um, he joins uh, a lot of the, a lot of the cast is all sticking around. Lila Coogan as Anya is still there. Jason Michael Evans, Joy Franz, Tari Kelly, and Edward Stoudemire are all sticking around in the show as well. Uh, Jake, he's. He's a fresh newcomer here. He got his Bachelor of Arts uh, degree in musical theater from UCLA. Um, you may have seen him on stage at school, otherwise, in Carrie, Carousel, and Pippin. Uh, he's fantastic, so talented, and now he's playing Dimitri. He can sing the heck out of my Saint, my Petersburg. That's Strong words. Strong you know, words. he's a talented guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Keep history thinking. is being made in Joe Egg in the West End. So the play, A Day in the Death of Joe Egg, is playing in London, uh, West End Revival. And we just found out really interesting casting news. Um, Storm Tullis, uh, an actress with cerebral palsy, is playing the role of, what's her name? They call well, they her They call Joe her Joe Egg. Yeah, it's all yeah. about um, parents struggling to deal with their 10-year-old daughter, Josephine, right. um, who is disabled. So it's really interesting that they cast uh, an actress with cerebral palsy in the role. Yeah. It's the first time this has happened. Mm -hmm. um, and Simon Evans is the director of this. It also stars Toby Stevens, Claire Skinner, Patricia Hodge. So uh, we love um, creative casting. Like, this Absolutely. is really, really Absolutely. Uh, fascinating. So this starts uh, September 21st at Trafalgar Studios in London, if you're there. Right. And uh, there's some other exciting things that you can check out on the site right now. Je the, uh, we put together all of the fall preview, the fall preview mm -hmm. stuff, right? You can see all of it. And then Jagged Little Pill, that yes. one came out. Elizabeth Stanley mm -hmm. talks all about that. It's fantastic. Those photos were shot right on this very spot. That's right. Right here. Right here in all on of this. A lot of people one photo. <laughs> Uh, what else? Uh, oh, the latest top five things to do. I love yes, Tug Rice's drawing of Little Shop so of Horrors. They're so good. Incredible. I know. so good. Anyway, because so Little Shop of Horrors is coming this week. So, so It starts previews tomorrow. I know. I'm yes, excited. I'm you, know what, you know what else? I think tomorrow it also starts in... In uh, California. Oh, in California. Oh, really? Right. Jay yes. Rodriguez and George Salazar. Yes, I and think. Kevin I think that's also the same thing. Yeah. Anyway, and Darren Brown. Opened. Darren Brown's Secret opened on Broadway. There is a red carpet challenge, photos, video, all of that good stuff. So check out all of that in just a moment. But first, we're going to talk with Chris and I'm going to get out of here. Paul, thank you so much. Thank Caitlin, you. would you tell us about our guests? Gladly. Yes, we have the two stars who are taking Escape to Margaritaville across the country here with us today. We have Chris Clark. It's his birthday, so everybody give him some shout-outs below. And we have Sarah Henriksen. We are so excited to have them here. This marks the professional stage debuts of both of them. This is so exciting that we both have them here. And, guys, I just want to say, Jimmy Buffett, when they announced their casting, Jimmy Buffett said they were hand selected. This is a big deal. We're so excited to have them. Make sure you follow Chris at ChrisClark55 and at Sarah at S-A-R-A underscore H-I-N. Make sure you follow both of them. Leave all of your questions in the comments below. And everyone, please welcome Sarah, Chris, and Ryan. Welcome, Yay! guys. Yay! Hello. I don't think you can tell on camera, but you two are giants. You're both very, <laughs> you're very tall people. We I are feel so tall. <laughs> we are the most tall. Yeah. Yes. So you know, just uh, happy birthday, Thank sir. Thank you very much. Thanks for spending Thank your you. birthday with us. It's so happy to have you here. Um, we are big fans of Escape to Margaritaville here around the Broadway.com office. How does it feel? to be a part of this music. How does it be handpicked by Jimmy Buffett himself? You're now in, you inducted Parrot Heads. Yes. Yeah. We're very thankful to be part of the Parrot Head community. Um, <laughs> yes, Jimmy selected the tall ones, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the uh, jungle is much taller now. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very special. Yeah. Uh, I grew up listening to Jimmy's music. My parents are Parrot Heads through and through. Really? And okay. so they're like, out of college. Don't screw this up. Oh, no, oh yeah. They're like, that's my favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. That was like the first thing we talked, like we started texting before rehearsal started and he was like, oh, tell me your your parents are parrot heads too. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And so I was like, oh, they're, 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 they love Jimmy. And I'll like catch my mom now watching his Instagram lives. I'm like, mom, what are you watching? She's like, Jimmy's concert. I'm like, oh, of course. Of course you are. This um, is, yeah. Yeah, classic. But I was like, oh, are your parents crazy parrot heads? And he, well, you have your, your, yeah, my dad went to a Jimmy Buffett concert two days after I was born. 
And, really? Yeah. Wow. And Priorities. I, I know. I know. He said, okay, they're out. Good. I say they because I have a twin. Happy okay. birthday, Brett. Oh, yes. Um, Happy birthday, Brett. Yeah. Same day. Uh, and after I got the part, I got to go to a Jimmy Buffett concert and take my family at the same venue that he went wow. two days wow. after wow. I was that's, born. Yeah. That's like the and universe so, working yeah. in mysterious Seriously. ways. So they got to meet Jimmy. And so you, crazy. I assume you've you know, been hearing Jimmy Buffett around the house. You've been singing Jif Jimmy Buffett. For, for you know, for a long time. What um, what was the audition process like for each of you in terms of what what songs did you have to sing? What did you have to do to impress Jimmy to be hand selected? They're very different. So I'm gonna let Sarah take this yeah, one first because they are so opposite we of each have, other. We do have very very different experiences. I actually went to the open call in New York City. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah open call. Million people there. You know. Yeah. Um, totally. Ton of people there. Um. I think I think I sang like a country song originally, mm. um, and then just sort of went through. I think I went through like ten callbacks total, oh, wow. um, and then the final room, you know, sent packets and sides and songs. And I mean, Rachel's main song is "It's My Job," so mm -hmm. sang a little bit of that. Um, and then in the last room too, Jimmy was there, and my I, my friends are like, "Was it so crazy?" And I was like, "Yeah, I finished," and he was like. I liked it. I was like, <laughs> I'm glad. Thank they you. Goodness. Yeah, what are you, you're like, oh my gosh, this is the best moment. Right. So, um, so, yeah, but Chris had, Chris had a different. Yeah, journey. arts was different. I uh, remember seeing this posted on Playbill because they did like a national tour to cast mm -hmm. the role. And back in March, I was like, I don't yeah. know if that's. Uh, maybe not. And then it just <laughs> kept coming around. And so uh, I was seen by the casting director at my senior showcase. Mm -hmm. uh, and I sent in a video, the uh, 22 pages. Wow. And wow. then they said, can you come in next week for the creative team? And I said, sure. <laughs> and so, it, I mean, it was a very different process, but it was so cool. And yeah. just, yeah, and, and to be around the creative team. And Jimmy, of course, has just been an honor and great. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about, I mean, it, it goes without saying that Jimmy, yeah, there is this entire culture based around Jimmy and his music and, you know, his whole approach to life. What is it, um, what was it for your families? What is it like for you? What What about his appeal speaks to you? What, what, why are you big believers in the Jimmy Buffett philosophy? You want to go first? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> I love that, and Jimmy will say this about the show too, is that it, it is such an escape. Obviously, like, our world is crazy right now, and, and, and always has been, but definitely like to just come to the theater and escape to mm -hmm. Margaritaville every night, Yeah, we get to, the, the fans get to, like, casual theater goers get to, <laughs> and it's, it is just so special to be a part of something that, gives people so much joy. Jimmy's been playing these songs since 1970. Right, and right. And people still go in the thousands to see this man sing the songs <laughs> that they've heard hundreds of times, hundreds of thousands of times, and to be a part of that Margaritaville culture is mm -hmm. really special. Yeah, absolutely. Culture's a, culture's a good word. Yeah. It's a whole, like, it's a subculture. And mm -hmm. people, it's so funny, people, you know, when people don't know as much about theater, they're like, oh, what are you in? I'm like, well, do you know Jimmy Buffett? They're like, of course I know Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, I'm in his musical. Right. They're He's like, He's the Beyonce what? of Trop Rock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, yes. Well, wow, you nailed it. Put that yeah. on the poster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On a t -shirt. No, right. Um, From the Beyonce of Trop Rock, <laughs> Jimmy Buffett's Escape to Margaritaville. <laughs> But you're right. It's, like it's a funny. whole yeah. it, it's a whole lifestyle that he's promoting and using the show and his music to sort mm -hmm. of put forward that lifestyle as well. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what you're looking forward to. So um, both of you are sort of fresh out of like training and school and all of that, and you're about to hit the road and go. What does it mean to you to be traveling across the country at this stage of your careers already, making such a splash um, <laughs> with, with all of this? Like, like a what, wave. <laughs> exactly. What What does it mean to you to be be able to do this I'll go yeah um it is unbelievable we yeah. like we finish rehearsals or we finish runs and we just like we I think every day after <laughs> rehearsal we've had a moment where we're just like can you believe this <laughs> like so we just fun. we just have to pinch ourselves and it sounds yeah. so cheesy and ridiculous but we have the most incredible creative team um so I we just feel so supported and so mm -hmm. loved and so it's amazing because we have these incredible people like Chris Chris Ashley and Kelly Devine watched our run the other day. Right. Um, yes. And are super involved in the process. And then um, Jimmy watched her run the other day. Yeah. And we're just like, do you have to pinch <laughs> Like, are, how are you? Do like, we check in. We're like, are you okay? I'm, I'm doing okay. Like, mm -hmm. this is insane. So it's just been like, it's been amazing. And getting to take it all over the country. Right. It's so exciting, too, because I think, like, we talked about that culture. 
there's so many people everywhere that are so excited mm-hmm. to see. We see on like the Facebook post, people are like, we already have our tickets for yeah. Tampa. And we're like, oh my gosh, that's in a year. You're like, right. oh and my gosh. some of them oh, 10 right. different cities, like the way yeah. that people <gasps> follow Jimmy around, they're like, I'm coming here, here, here. I was going to say, you're going to get, as as Paul was saying, you know, you're going to get a whole train of people that are going to be mm-hmm. seeing it multiple times. Is there a particular city or stuff that you're especially looking forward to, either being close to home or anything like that? Yeah. I definitely going to Florida is mm-hmm. going to be so fun because of that's like Jimmy's hub. Right. And also Denver at Christmas time is yes. going to be Amazing. just like a snowy winter wonderland. <laughs> yep. And, you, escape and you really will be the Come escape. Yes. Yeah. I know it'll be crazy. Like take off coats and scarves and <laughs> right. get in our bathing suits and pretend we're on an island. Certainly. Which is a great way to spend a year. <laughs> totally is. Yeah. What about any particular cities, stops that you're really looking forward I'm to? I'm from California originally. Okay. So my family is just losing their minds that we're playing mm-hmm. the Dolby for three weeks in right. February. Right, nice sit down there Oh, for my mom has planned a pool party for the cast. <laughs> like, we are just... <laughs> the Hendrickson family is really thrilled, let me tell you. Yeah, let me tell you. Yeah, so we're excited about... Well, I mean, I don't think there's a city we're not excited for. Yeah. Right. Um, oh, man, yeah. Have I either of you had the opportunity in your lives up to this point to travel the country at all, to do a lot of, or is this going to be oh. a pretty big... Just yeah. regional just regional jobs, but those are, so, you know, you go to one place and you're there for three, however long, three weeks, three months, yeah. and then you come back to New York to go right. back out again. So I think getting to really, like, bop around is going to be mm-hmm. bop around, <laughs> swim around, <laughs> will be the best. Wade, right. uh, yeah, Wade. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Like, we've, you know, done jobs in, like, I have Kansas and... Virginia and I'm from Texas and so like I've been places but it's it it was just a dream to be out of school and to get to see all these places that I've never been like even opening in Rhode Island is like yeah. oh great like never been yeah yeah truly there there's not a stop it's like I've never been there that's cool mm-hmm. so <laughs> really really excited fantastic I want to ask each of you where uh, Sarah we'll start with you w- was being a performer always in the cards for you is this something you've always wanted to do it was. I actually have the weirdest story. My parents, my dad's a director, my mom's an actress, and they met playing Harold and Marion in The Music Man. Oh, wow. I oh, know. my God. Lots of Music Man plugs. <laughs> Which yeah. tickets are on sale now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, they are not in that one, though. Um, so, yeah. Can it's, be the understudies? Yeah, yeah can you imagine? <laughs> it, um, so, yeah. So, I've always kind of been around theater and, and loved it, and so getting to do this is just... Un- it's unbelievable. Right, right. Yeah. And you? It was performing always for you? It looking back, it definitely was. I played sports growing up, I and all through high school, and then all of a sudden, my dad would be like, "Well, also you did this and you did this," and so mm-hmm. it was truly like, "Oh, I was putting on, I was, dem- I was forcing my parents to watch me perform since I was four. So right, it, so yes, it was, and I didn't realize it until much later. <laughs> I know that you haven't been in the sort the heads of these characters for very long yet. Um, you're still in the midst of rehearsal, but what's something about Tully and something about Rachel um, that has already sort of inspired you? What do you admire most about the people that you're playing in this show? Uh, just Tully's optimism and that things are going to work out. But I think one of the coolest things, especially getting to play with Sarah in the show, is that um, as our director talks about, the show is so much about balance. Mm-hmm. And the characters really do balance each other out. Like Tully's afraid of going for his dreams, and she's, and all that you speak about. Rachel, but that is that that really goes for for what she wants. Yeah, and so um, they both just get to learn a lot from each other, and not necessarily filling the hole in the other person, but really like encouraging each person to find the balance between work and the relaxed Buffett mm-hmm. lifestyle, and that there there is a middle ground, and they both help each other find it, and it's really cool to play. Tell it. Yeah. yeah. No, well, very well put. Yeah, absolutely. Second that, for sure. <laughs> That's perfect. But also, I think Rachel, in her way, it's it's so cool right now to get to play just a really smart woman mm. on stage. I think it's incredible for, for little girls to see that. And because it is like a family musical, anyone can come to it. To get to play this character that is a strong, driven woman is like... A life-changing experience I think because I, I every day I'm like oh Rachel's like inspiring me right now it sounds so cheesy but I'm like oh this is so neat and then to see her sort of I mean no spoilers how it ends but see her figure you know figure out how to have a love life and right. how to have a career and how to have mm-hmm. like, how to get everything she wants and how to help Tully get everything he wants and and their journey together is just really yeah. it's yeah. so fun to get to do every day yeah. and all the female characters in the show are yes. really really strong and right. really really driven yes. and there were a lot of rewrites to make sure that the women had a lot of agency and so it's cool to be in a show that is very like has a lot of pro 
environmental themes mm-hmm. and also that has such strong female characters yeah. is really yeah. cool to be a part of. One of the things I love most about this show is how it really takes ordinary people in ordinary circumstances and shows you how extraordinary you can be yes. as an ordinary person. Yes. And it's it's a really beautiful message. I might steal um, that. Your, that. Please, yeah. it's all yours. It's, it's your birthday gift. Yes. Um, Thank <laughs> you, Ryan. <laughs> My pleasure. Um, before we open up to some questions of the people that are watching right now, um, who are, so we have a lot of people that are aspiring performers that like to tune in to Live at Five. Who what were some of uh, your, uh, who did you look up to when you were figuring out that you wanted to be a performer, that it was something you were going to pursue, who were your idols? Who are the people that you um, sort of pulled th- pulled from for creative inspiration? Do you have any in mind? Yeah. <laughs> so I I grew up with a dad who like loves golden age musical theater. So mm. it was very like I just everyone keeps making fun of me because I just finished Barbara Cook's memoirs. Yes. But so it's like fantastic. the third time I've read them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like, well, in Barbara Cook's memoirs, and they're like, Sarah's <laughs> always quoting Barbara Cook. <laughs> I'm like, well, she was really wise. Yeah, so absolutely. You gotta yeah. do what you gotta do. Um, I actually, funny enough, really looked up to Alison Luff a lot in college because I just loved every role she does, and she does kind of have a track record of playing like a lot of strong, driven females, which I yeah. think is just so cool. And I think she's so such a great person as well as performer, um, which is amazing. I'm trying to think who else. Um, I mean, I was a 13 year old girl when Wicked came out, so I was just. So, I mean, obsessed. you were in the, yes, yeah, like the, the, prime, the center. Popular like, shirts in junior yes, high, yes. all of the above. Taking the whisper photo. You know what? Yes. Yes. Halloween <laughs> costumes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, no, so uh, Adina and Chris. Adina and Chris, yeah. of course, yeah. like, you know, throwing Tony parties with my friends and Amazing. being yes. just that nerdy musical theater girl. So, yeah. and anyone, and then of course, like, everyone you look like, Audrey McDonald, of course, and mm-hmm. like, she just is incredible. There's so many people that I've yeah. Have sort of been like, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to yeah. do that. That's so cool. She's amazing. He's amazing. So. <laughs> yeah. And what about totally. you, Chris? Yeah. Uh, like those golden age baritones that are just like the powerhouse, <laughs> like mm-hmm. like like John Raitt and just. Yes. Oof. But also yeah. guys like uh, Ben Walker. Andy Carl, especially. I'm like, oh. every, anything you do, I will steal yes. your songs. It's it's <laughs> wise to come here and to compliment Andy Carl. Yeah. We're, we're, we're big into, yes. big into the Andy Carl Andy tank Carl over things. here. Yeah. Uh, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yeah, like, of course. It's oh, like yeah. splitting. And just, I love anytime you hear about Hugh. It's the first thing people say isn't how incredible he is, but how kind he is. Exactly. And just like yeah. the quarterback of, of a show that he is. Um yeah, those are the ones that come up the Certainly. top of my head. All good, all good inspiration. Yeah. In guys. Str- oh, approvals here. And, and strangely, like I've been following Paul Mullen through things. Yeah, and we no, couldn't sure. be more different. But like I did Jesus in in, in high school, mm-hmm. and which he was incredible on Broadway. But it's yeah. just like been and then Guy and Once and just right. some roles that he's done that I would love to do. And it's been it's cool to be in one of them now and to take it across the country. That's super cool. That's absolutely Caitlin. Yes. What would some of our viewers like to yes. know? From I think we have time for one question. This is my favorite question. Elise wants to know, in the spirit of Margaritaville, if you were a cocktail, which would you be? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> future, future theater Ooh. journalist. I was like, whoa. Come on. Wow. Wow. If I was a cocktail. Okay. Yeah. I would be, mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Do you have one? If I were a cocktail, I'd probably be a whiskey sour. Okay, no. why? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Yeah. Because I like whiskey. Sure. And also, it's just a nice like. But but there's a little something more than yeah, just straight like whiskey. Mm-hmm. But drink of choice would be a nice Land Shark Lager, Plug of Margaritaville. Oh God. Um, okay. But just like a blonde thing. But I was told cocktail, and I don't think beers yeah. fall under. The no, cocktail. and I think a whiskey sour is like the forgotten cocktail. You know, yeah. like let's let's bring it back a little bit. Yeah, we'll we'll set up a Tully Bar right here. <laughs> we'll like make a yeah, tully bar. absolutely. Um, I I I'm struggling between a mojito and a sangria. I know. My initial, <laughs> my initial was sangria. Yeah. I have to be honest. Yeah. But then yeah. I was like, "Is it fruity? I don't know why I'm that." But that was my gut reaction. Yeah, a sangria. A sangria. So I'm gonna stick with it. A sangria. Okay. Frozen margarita. Uh, oh, oh it's it's a, a, yes. The fruit yeah. floating yeah. in it. Yeah, yeah. Always, absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. fantastic question. <laughs> yeah. Um, guys, thank you so much. You're you're both you. just beams of light. I'm so happy for both of you. Congratulations. <laughs> Make sure I escape to Margaritaville. Jimmy Buffett's amazing musical is going to already 40 different cities across North America. 
America. Make sure you catch it on the road. I'm sure there are many, many more will be, be announced. Chris, Sarah, thank you both so much. Good luck on the road. Come back and visit us we when will. you have a break, Anytime. please. Fantastic. Caitlin, would you take us out, please? Gladly. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single weekday here on Facebook. You can listen to us wherever you get your podcast by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. We talk to Miss Carly Carmelo, who is taking the Hello Dolly tour across the country.